Good morning, brothers and sisters in Christ. The lowly servant here. Welcome to my channel. Today is December 5, 2021, the second Sunday of Advent. The Gospel said, All flesh shall see the salvation of God. Let's have a listen and reflect on it after. But first, The first reading is from the book of Baruch. Jerusalem, take off your robe of mourning and misery. Put on the splendor of glory from God forever. Wrapped in the cloak of justice from God. Bear on your head the mitre. That displays the glory of the eternal name. For God will show all the earth your splendor. You will be named by God forever. The peace of justice, the glory of God's worship. Up, Jerusalem. Stand upon the heights. Look to the east and see your children. Gathered from the east and the west. At the word of the Holy One. Rejoicing that they are remembered by God. Led away on foot by their enemies they left you. But God will bring them back to you. Born aloft in glory is on royal thrones. For God has commanded. That every lofty mountain be made low. And that the age-old depths and gorges. Be filled to level ground. That Israel may advance secure in the glory of God. The forests and every fragrant kind of tree. Have overshadowed Israel at God's command. For God is leading Israel in joy. By the light of his glory. With his mercy and justice for company. Responsorial Psalm The Lord has done great things for us, we are filled with joy. When the Lord brought back the captives of Zion. We were like men dreaming. Then our mouth was filled with laughter, and our tongue with rejoicing. The Lord has done great things for us, we are filled with joy. Then they said among the nations, The Lord has done great things for them. The Lord has done great things for us. We are glad indeed. The Lord has done great things for us, we are filled with joy. Restore our fortunes, O Lord. Like the torrents in the southern desert. Those who sow in tears, shall reap rejoicing. The Lord has done great things for us, we are filled with joy. Although they go forth weeping, carrying the seed to be sown, they shall come back rejoicing, carrying their sheaves. The Lord has done great things for us, we are filled with joy. The second reading is from the letter of Paul to the Philippians. Brothers and sisters, I pray always with joy in my every prayer for all of you because of your partnership for the gospel. From the first day until now, I am confident of this, that the one who began a good work in you will continue to complete it until the day of Christ Jesus. God is my witness. How I long for all of you with the affection of Christ Jesus. And this is my prayer, that your love may increase ever more and more in knowledge and every kind of perception to discern what is of value so that you may be pure and blameless for the day of Christ, filled with the fruit of righteousness that comes through Jesus Christ for the glory and praise of God. Alleluia, Alleluia! Prepare the way of the Lord, make straight His paths, all flesh shall see the salvation of God. Alleluia, Alleluia! The Gospel according to Luke In the fifteenth year of the reign of Tiberius Caesar, when Pontius Pilate was governor of Judea, and Herod was tetrarch of Galilee, and his brother Philip tetrarch of the region of Ituraea and Trachonitis, and Lysanias was tetrarch of Abilene, during the high priesthood of Annas and Caiaphas, the word of God came to John the son of Zechariah in the desert. John went throughout the whole region of the Jordan, proclaiming a baptism of repentance for the forgiveness of sins, as it is written in the book of the words of the prophet Isaiah, a voice of one crying out in the desert, Prepare the way of the Lord, make straight his paths. Every valley shall be filled and every mountain and hill shall be made low. The winding road shall be made straight, and the rough ways made smooth, and all flesh shall see the salvation of God. Reflection The meandering paths and winding roads of our lives are straightened, the valleys filled and the mountains brought low when we repent. Repentance means to change one's life towards God, who embraces us in mercy, forgives and welcomes us back home. Our repentance is our response to the invitation to see the salvation of God. Baruch's prophecy of a glorious future was fulfilled when Israel returned from exile. 
Isaiah's prophecy of future glory quoted in the Gospel. All flesh shall see the salvation of God will be fulfilled when we return to God through repentance and forgiveness of sin is an essential requirement for us to see the salvation of God. It's not easy, but possible and rewarding. That's the end of the reflection from the Catholic Missal. Subscribe to my channel and click on the notification bell, so you won't miss out on my next upload. Be safe and always keep God in your hearts. Peace to all.